The United Nations and the world to get a clearer picture of the devastation of Hurricane Dorian on the Bahamas. Good evening, I'm Jiminy Swain and welcome to the weekend edition of the Bahamas Tonight. UN Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez got a full tour and assessment of the damage on Abaco this weekend. He gave the assurance that he will sound the alarm and noted that solidarity is absolutely essential and the international community needs to express its support strongly. To my duty to come to raise awareness. Uh, uh, obviously, this represents for the Bahamas a big shock. There is in the international community the idea that middle income countries should not be supported. It's a wrong idea, especially when middle income countries have high levels of vulnerability to external shocks they are not responsible for. Um, and so I hope that the international community will be able. Now, obviously, is the moment of still rescue in some situations, but essential humanitarian aid. But then there will be reconstruction, building resilience, uh, uh, recovery. And this will uh, require massive investments from the government, from the people. Uh, and of course, international support will be absolutely essential. And uh, one of the reasons of my visit is to raise awareness and to say that I believe that that international solidarity needs to be expressed not only in this emergency phase, but uh, in the uh, medium and long term. Well, the UN Secretary General also applauded the Bahamas for its efforts in response to this devastation on both islands. I deeply feel um, uh, the enormous, uh, enormous gratitude for what you are doing. And um, uh, you can be sure that this uh, generosity that you are showing, this effort that you are making, um, is worth. Because, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the people, and I've seen yesterday people displaced in uh, very dramatic circumstances. So the people really need and deserve this support. So what you are doing uh, is, uh, uh, is very important and uh, uh, has an enormous value uh, for the Bahamas and for the people living uh, in this country. So thank you so very much. Total solidarity and deep admiration for the work you are doing.